every time I release a new video about the new characters this early, I always get questions. Bilbsy, how do you end up getting these characters so early? I don't do anything special. I just happen to live in Australia, which is a very convenient region for Injustice 2. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to actually delete every piece of gear I have on PlayStation, mainly because I don't actually play PlayStation very often anymore, but also because I need credits right now to be able to make this video that I'm about to make. So just so you guys know, just because of Adam's release and because obviously I want to make this video, I'm going to be deleting every single piece of gear I have on Injustice 2 on PS4. So if you could show your appreciation by of course leaving a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. It seriously means so much to me. These monthly videos where I go through and I do like a mother box opening for a specific character, those are like a significant portion of my channel's growth every month. So when you guys leave likes on these videos, it's especially helpful because it helps more people find my channel. So thank you guys so much for that. But I don't need to tell you that because you guys do that every month anyway. And if you are new here, then stay subscribed, man. We do a lot of cool content over here. At least I like to think we do. And there'll be a ton of new Adam videos this week as well. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and delete literally every single piece of gear I have. Or maybe not literally every single piece, but at least until I get up to 2 million, which I think is a fair enough amount to be able to make this video. You know, it's kind of hard to figure out which one of these you have favorited because the stars are the same color as the background color of the Epic Gear. So it's, it's very difficult to actually see the star. Most of the time you do actually see it, but... I've missed a couple and it's frustrating. I was not ready for this character to come out on PlayStation, as you can tell. I did not realize how many credits I was actually gonna get for this, man. I'm just scrolling through here and I've already hit 1 million. Started off at barely any. I'm not gonna even bother unfavoriting them anymore. I think I'm just gonna be able to go through every single character and delete all the non-favorites. So much of my gear is favorited though. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of credits for deleting all of this epic gear that we have for Grodd. This is gonna be so much, I'm feeling it. This is gonna be Ooh, I'm gonna guess like 150,000 credits. Oh, 120,000, or oh, not even. Pretty close though. Oh, here we go. If I deleted all of these, it would have been 20,000. Oh my god, so much gear to unfavorite. Never favorite gear. I've decided it's the incorrect play. To be clear, don't do this at home, kids. Don't delete all of your gear just for a single mother box on opening. Don't do it. I have the benefit of playing on all three platforms, Injustice 2 on PC, Xbox, and whatever this platform's called. What's this platform again? PlayStation. One of them, so I figured it's not a big deal if I delete all of my gear on one platform, especially if it's my least played platform, so. That's why I'm doing this, even though I'm pretty sure it's really dumb. I don't even need to be pretty sure, I can just, I can just tell you this is pretty dumb. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to get rid of Red Hood gear, Red Hood gear is just too good. Let's get rid of, no, I don't want to get rid of Robin gear either, it's just too good. <laughs> Let's just get rid of Scarecrow gear. I know Scarecrow gear is also really good, but, man, I just... Ugh, I feel heartbroken getting rid of all this. Alright, we're at 1.8 million, getting pretty close here. Let's get rid of some Swamp Thing gear, because we've got lots of it. Wow, we still have lots of it. I'm just gonna get rid of all of those favorite ones, too. See you later, favorites. Wonder Woman, come forth. I must delete your gear. There we go, we got rid of all, well not all, there's still a ton of Wonder Woman gear there, but we got rid of most of the character's gear, and now we have enough to do some other box openings. I already have some boxes here I got from doing some multiverse stuff, so we're just gonna pop these open before we get into the official golden mother boxes. Let's go through these. I don't think there's a possibility for any Adam gear. I just lied, we just saw Adam gear. <laughs> I don't know how Adam gear was in there. I must have played a multiverse. I did play like one match with Adam, so maybe that's where I got it. Damn. That's pretty lucky, though, that we got him so quickly. I already got a piece of gear for him, I should say. All right. Nothing interesting in the rest of those boxes, though. It was only a common piece of Adam gear, so it's not a big deal. Every single time I do one of these unboxing, one of you guys lets me know in the comment section that I missed a piece of, you know, whatever character it is at the time, whether it be Hellboy, Adam, whatever. Bilbsy, you missed a piece of gear. At the end of the day, I don't really care going through these one at a time and looking at which piece of gear we have. At the end, I will go through every single piece of gear because it's kind of more important, right? We want to see what they look like, not the little icon and the, the common and the rare splash art. We're not too concerned about that. We're more or less concerned about what they look like. So I don't mind if I miss one or two pieces while I'm just kind of scrolling through all of the gear. I know for a fact that none of this is going to have Adam gear in it because it's all platinum and I definitely didn't earn any platinum mother boxes recently. So... Let's do this, starting off with 50 mother boxes. I really hope we get at least one epic piece of Adam gear. Friendly reminder, I mention this every time I do one of these mother box opening the videos. This is not, I repeat, not a good idea. If you're interested in getting good gear for insert character here, whether it be a new character or even an old character, opening up mother boxes is not the way to go, especially not using credits. Save your credits for things like the multiverses, which require you to use credits to enter, because that's much more efficient for you if you're looking to get more things. 
But for someone in my situation where I want to make these videos for you guys, I go out of my way to spend credits so that you don't have to. If you want to get Epic Gear for a character, the best way to do it is play them either in multiverse or online. Generally, online is a lot better for this though. Oh, Epic Adam Legs! Oh my god, hype. I'm so hyped to look at this. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, nice. Nice. They're very mechanical up the leg there, and then you've got some more, more plating up around the waist. Very cool looking. Big fan of that. Let's see. What do the stats do? Down to Earth. All right. We Yeah, that's just one of the, the random buffs. And inflict 4% extra damage to heroes. Cool, man. Cool. Very cool. All right. Let's keep going through these. Taser rings. Okay. I haven't seen that gear ability before. Very cool. Don't see any more Atom gear here, though. Bit disappointing. Come on. We want to see... Oh, there we go. There's some more Atom legs. We'll look at all of the common stuff and rare stuff later. We're just more or less concerned about epics. That being said, you really shouldn't expect epics going into these Motherbox opening videos. How many of these have I done now? How many characters have been released? I believe there have been seven characters released, right? Because this is the first Fighter Pack 3 character. Dude, it's crazy to think that we're two months out from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm also really excited about that character. And I haven't even got the chance to fully play Adam yet. I did a couple AI multiverses. I didn't even play myself because I was busy um, making videos. I was busy making my shader video. So I didn't have actually time to play it physically myself. What? We don't have enough? We need more credits. How many of these can we get? Can I only get one? How many? Oh my. Oh, we can get nine guild bronze mother boxes. We're going to get these... Because guild mother boxes are slightly better than regular mother boxes. So just because we're opening up bronze here doesn't mean they're necessarily really bronze. They're kind of just silver or a little bit better than silver. So let's open these up and then we'll go back to the golden mother boxes. So that we can say we opened up 100 mother boxes, right? That's what we need. Oh, Adam Belt. Good thing we went with these, huh? I mean, it's only a common, but maybe it'll look good. Just have to wait and see, I guess. Unbox these bad boys. Not too many left. We're scrolling through these ones nice and quickly. We got a torso beast for Adam. Very cool. Some more legs for Adam. Very nice. I doubt we'll ever use the common legs over that awesome epic leg we got. All right, let's check this out. 41 more mother boxes. Guys, I am so excited to play this character. I cannot wait. I'm gonna go hit training mode with him after this. Actually, that's probably not true. Yeah, I probably hit a little bit of training mode with him and then I'll do my story mode video slash um, multiverse video. Dude, I am hyped about this character. I cannot wait to play him. You guys have no idea. I've seen a couple of his voice lines too. It's good. The things he says, his intro in general, just the animation is really cool. He comes in with a lab coat. If you haven't seen it, it looks really cool. Occasionally, Netherrealm like actually hits it out of the park with their characters, and this is one of those cases, man. I know I just there was like three pieces of Adam gear over the last few mother boxes. I know, I know, we'll look at it at the end. Don't worry. Okay, let's get through these. We've got some Hellboy gear, which is cool, but not what we're looking for. We're looking for specifically Adam gear. Hellboy shader, not what we're looking for. We wanted Hellboy last month. We want Adam this month, and we want Adam for the rest of, well, the rest of time, because Adam is the best. Nope, nothing to see here. No Adam gear around. We've got some Swamp Thing stuff. Not too concerned about that. And yeah, that's it. Okay, let's uh, let's open up a little bit more. I think we can do four more mother boxes. That's no good. Let's do ten. Let's do eleven. Sorry, silver mother boxes. That's a bit more exciting. Get a little bit more in there rather than just a couple more. So we see some rares. Nothing for Adam though. I forget what Adam's silhouette looks like because we go by them so fast. So even when we do get Adam gear, I don't even remember what the silhouette looks like. I'm trying to look at the silhouettes here and see. Okay, so I saw the Adam silhouette that time because we just got some Adam legs. Very cool. So I know roughly what it looks like now. It's just kind of a generic dude. It's kind of hard to, to spot him, to be honest. All right, there we go. That's our mother box unopening. I think we did okay. We didn't do great. It wasn't like an amazing unboxing, but it was an okay unboxing considering the circumstances. So let's go ahead and look at Adam right now. That is not his default gear. This is his default gear. So let's look at the mask we got. Okay. So it gives you a bit of a different look here. There's some elevated spots at the top and more of his face is visible. I actually really like that one. Uh, as opposed to his default one. Very cool. All right, let's check out his chest piece. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited to see his chest pieces in general because I, I like a lot of the red that's there on the chest, but I also really like the blue. So I would imagine mix and matching all the gear pieces and trying to maximize the amount of color on there. I think it's something that I'm going to enjoy because I love color on these characters. So I don't think we got any arms. No, we did not. It's a bit disappointing. Let's have a look at our belts. Oh, sorry, our legs. Dude, we got lots of legs. All right, so this is default, and this is another common piece. Nice, you can actually remove that. That's really good. I like that a lot. This is a nice little bare bones 
look, I would imagine I'm going to use these ones quite frequently, even though they're just common as far as, like, cosmetics go. I think that's a really nice look for him. Uh, and then we got another similar one here. What changes here? Or does anything change? I actually don't think anything changes here. Or am I really dumb? I, it's possible I'm dumb, but I don't think anything changes there. All right, and it looks like nothing changes here either. If there's something changing here, it's, like, super minimal. So it's not a big deal to me. And it looks like all these common ones here appear to be the exact same. They're just kind of simple looks for him with no extra armor or anything. That's weird. All right, and then this rare piece adds kind of a piece of armor to the back of the leg there. And we already checked out this epic piece, which of course looks awesome. Big fan of that one. All right, let's check out the accessory. Well, first of all, we should go back to our default look. Let's check out our accessories. We only got three common accessories, so nothing too exciting here. No epics, no rares, no nothing. Let's check them out. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a change there. I like that. That's cool. There's a lot of more lights going on in this one. You can see um, all the way around the belt there. Very cool. All right, this next one. Ooh, that's nice. It's less light, but it's all focused in one area if that's the type of look you're going for. I like that. That's cool. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, no, wait. This is just the, this is just the default one. Dude, that's crazy. Okay. So these are the three different looks we have for the belt. Very, very cool indeed. Imagine what the epic ones look like, man. All of these three variants that we have here look so good. So I can't wait to see what the epics look like. I already did a video on his shaders, but they're really cool. If you want to go check that out, there's a link in the description to it. Or it should show up on your screens fairly shortly. If you enjoyed this video at all, let me know by leaving a comment down below in the comment section. Or leaving a like on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Bilbzy, and I will see you very shortly with another Adam video.